My name is Peter Bruninger. I'm here with Wayne Coburn from Past Labs. Wayne, how are you? Good. Happy 2016. And to you too. Thank you very much. What are we showing? Uh, this year we're, we did a passive display. We're not playing music this year. We just are doing uh, amplifiers and we've kind of filleted them. Look at that. We made so them open so you can inside. see everything that's inside and uh, uh, output transistors, the power supplies, the toroids, capacitor banks, and uh, everything in there sends the, uh, the wiring. The wiring harnesses aren't in there and, mm -hmm. and some of the, the plug-in gain modules. Mm -hmm. But it gives you an idea of the uh, the heat sinking and the amount of output transistors and so forth. And fans, this is a 350.8, just mm -hmm. so you know. So that's an example of a large chassis and then okay. we have a, the medium chassis which 250? holds a yeah, 250 or, or uh, 100.8s, uh, so the same chassis is used for a couple things. And you can see the commonality in, yeah, I do. in the yeah. parts and, and the slightly smaller output stage here, but still mm -hmm. still a pretty significant 28 devices yeah. at a couple hundred watts a piece. Yeah, sure is. So, yeah. yeah, that really helps with our reliability. That's very yeah. important to us. That's what we like. Yep, down here, the 150.8. Yeah, 150.8. And this has 20, 20 output transistors per side and a big mm -hmm. toroid. Same power supply with all the. And there's a big toroid. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And they're shielded and uh, all the uh, the safety features and the, you know, the UL stuff, the one watt standby, all those kind of things are in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. How about that? And then here's an example of an integrated. This is the, the this was new last year, the INT60. I remember it's that very well. 60 watt per channel integrated. And got a little bit larger main board on it because it does more, you know, with input switching and volume control and You, you and do know the, the scuttlebutt in the industry is that this is the integrated to beat. Um yeah, sales indicate it's pretty good too. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, it's 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 quite a nice piece actually. I'm happy yeah. with the way it turned out. So. Congrats, yeah. 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 And uh, this has been around for a while, the X we showed this last year. Mm-hmm. But of course, it's open, and you can see the insides. Yeah, it's it's, inside here, for past labs, it's a complicated product, but it's a phono stage, so it, yeah, to do all this, the switching and the loading and gain, it takes a few parts. It oh, sure does. Um, and the same with the uh, the the excess pre. Mm -hmm. So, and then we come over to product that's been in line for a while, the XP. 20. Yeah, XP20. This is a legendary product, viewers. There's many of these in the field, and if you and never pop the top, here you go. Yep, yep. Lots of those. Real popular and uh, sound. And uh, you got the Absolute Sound new, new book here that uh, has some nice uh, articles on. Uh, all the different amplifier, a lot of different amplifier manufacturers, and a you nice know Nelson started this when he was 21 years old, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, something like that. He's yeah. been doing it a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 41 yeah. years ago. So, yeah, that's about right. Yeah. yeah. And then the uh, the headphone app, which is in production and shipping now. And if you want some more details, Jam has a guy to talk to about that. Jam, that's his come first on product. over. So, all right. Now, Jim, you were a star last year of the show with your headphone amp. Tell us about what's inside here. What are okay, we looking at? This is the final uh, version that goes into production. We've got a throttle transformer that's screened doubly with a mm -hmm. Faraday shield and a mu metal can run to, to, for low noise. We've got a totally discrete regulator, mm -hmm. low noise again. And everything is discrete except for that ICC there, which you may ask, which is just a servo for DC offset. Mm -hmm. We kept everything as straight line as possible, you know, and this functions as a preamp as well. So mm -hmm. the amplifier stage works as a, head, as a headphone amplifier and as a preamp. There's no additional stages. Mm -hmm. So the idea was to work as a preamp and a headphone amplifier, they, has, they had to have a real quiet power supply. So that was part of the design goal. We found that most headphone amplifiers didn't meet some of the criteria, so we had to go back and clean sheet of paper and, and work out the design so it met all the criteria. And then also mm -hmm. there's this, there is a conflicting criteria as far as headphone amps. You've got 32 ohm headphones and you've got 600 ohm headphones. You do, it's all over Yeah, so you have, to, you have to come out with something that meets, meets both sets of criteria, and that's what we tried to do. So we have pretty high rails 
for the voltage swing for high impedance headphones and also the current delivery for the low impedance headphones. So mm -hmm. I think we have achieved our design goals and it works pretty well pretty well as a as a preamp only. So well how about that? Well I'm gonna give you a congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for designing this product. It was a hit video last year. It's, this is going to be a major hit video this year because everybody gets to see inside the products. <laughs> okay, great. Thank great you. to see you, Jim. Have a great CES 16, and we'll see you soon. Okay, thank you. Thank you.